Welcome to this reading. In this reading, we're going to be talking about how we can cope with sadness. Maybe you feel tired. Maybe you feel sad, anxious, or stressed. Maybe you've had a long day. But don't worry. This reading is about not worrying, about overcoming obstacles, and feeling your best, and help shift our thinking and relieve tension in our bodies. Big emotions are difficult, but when we take a breath and take a step back, things become less messy. There are things we can do to help with this sadness. You can find a hobby. A hobby can be a great distractor for when things are making you depressed. What is a hobby that you would like to try? There are other ways to deal with sadness, such as hanging around with friends and family. Make time without distractions. As alone as you may feel, there are friends and family that really enjoy your company. You can also do something that makes you feel better. Fill your time up by learning something new or doing something that you enjoy. You could also look toward the future. We should never forget the past, but we must let go to move on. Focus on improving your future. You can remember your good qualities. You have a lot of good qualities to offer the world and those around you. Focus on those. You can also visualize times of happiness. Remember the good times. Close your eyes and picture yourself happy and in the moment. Next, eliminate negative talk. Saying bad things about yourself doesn't do any good for you. You can also set goals for yourself. Goals are very important for success and to give yourself drive. Finally, you can talk to others about how you feel. It can be hard to share your problems with others, but talking about things can really help get the weight of the world off of your chest. Thank you for listening to today's reading. Remember that you are important. Until next time.